easy just because you don't have your hats on today. You can't come at me for what I'm wearing. <laughs> Calm down. All right. It was important that we came out and set the tone with the game. And we talked about, um, you know, we need to throw the first punch. We need to be the aggressor. We need to be the team uh, that sets the tone. And I think we set the tone uh, right away. Certainly there was points in the game where it almost felt like we were we were hanging on. But I think our guys were able to dig deep. So I think it was it was uh, setting the tone, being the aggressor. And then it was just a group of guys who were really connected and had resolve. Uh, we talked about on Saturday um, at the end of the game, you got to you know, you got to get stops late in the game. That's the most important thing. And felt like that we had that mindset uh, today that that's what we we're going to do. What kind of message do you think you said to the Big 12 and to college basketball in general? Yeah, I don't know if we're trying to send any message. We're just trying to play well and, you know, get the win tonight. So um, fortunate that our guys did that. Um, how we do things, we're just going to get right back to work tomorrow and keep working hard and hopefully keep elevating our team. On that last offensive possession, Taman said the play was originally for him to, to get to the rim. What did you see how the guys adjusted and then obviously Milan making that shot? Yeah, yeah, so it was, you know, it was basically both options. And, you know, we were fortunate coming out that Milan had a, you know, a smaller guy on him. And um, so he's, that's kind of his spot on that left wing. So uh, we wanted to get either Taman going to the rim or we wanted to get Milan uh, in position there for that shot that, you know, he's confident in. And, uh, saw on Saturday again, I hate to keep talking about it, but he had a lot of courage late in the game to, to step up and make some plays and some shots, and we've got all the confidence in the world in him. And so to see a freshman want the ball, make a shot with that degree of difficulty uh, at that point in the game, and then go to the foul line and, and finish the job is really impressive. It might not be surprising to you, but what does it tell you about your team that they were able to not only match Houston's physicality, but I think probably exceed it? Yeah, it's important. We have so much pride, you know, especially when we play at home. Uh, really thankful and fortunate for our fans and everybody that came out. I know the weather was a big obstacle, and to have the crowd that we did, um, you know, really gave us that extra energy, that extra fight. So I want to make sure that, um, you know, we certainly thank all of our fans because that was big. It was so important. Uh, everybody that made the trip made the sacrifice to come out. Just know the impact you had on this game. You should feel great about it, just like our guys do in that locker room. It's one thing to come out and be the aggressor. It's another to have them fight all the way back, take the lead finally inside of four minutes and close it the way you did. Do you feel like your team, particularly on the defensive end, took a big step in this game? Yeah, I mean, we were um, in that first half, I think we turned them over 12 times. You know, we take so much pride in, in getting those turnovers and then scoring off turnovers. So those were big for us. You know, I think as the game wore on, you know, your legs probably a little bit. And there's, you know, so we only had four in the second half, I think. but. Um, you know, that's that is a big step for us because it's not only the turnovers, it's it's, you know, not putting them on the foul line unnecessarily. It's not letting them get to the rim late in the game. Uh, all those things are so important. If you're going to win a game, you can't let a team uh, like we just played, you know, get to the rim, get to the foul line late. And our guys did a great job of doing that without fouling. You talked about not allowing a team like Houston to get to the rim and not fouling like you guys did tonight. Um, physically, they're known as being like really hard playing team, tenacious team. Do you feel like you guys matched up well with that? And if so, why do you think you were able to come out with it? Yeah, I mean, I felt like our guys were the more aggressive team. I mean, we, we played more uh, physical. Um, we were the more resilient team. We made more plays. And we have you know all the respect in the world for their program and what they've done. But um, nobody's going to come in here and push us around. Nobody's going to come in here and bully us. Nobody's going to come in here and, you know, not real happy about being underdog. Not that we follow any of that sort of thing, but nobody's going to call us an underdog at Hilton Coliseum. And then to follow up, you said the play to, that Milan hit was drawn up for him or Taman. For a freshman to be able to have an opportunity to make that shot, what do you as coaches kind of look for to see the confidence in a player to know that they can <coughs> make the shot themselves? Well, the great thing for, for Milan is he's always, he's always been that guy. You know, the teams he's played on, he's always been the go-to guy and guy that you know, wants the ball in his hands at the end of the game. And uh, at his size, with his elite shot making ability, um, it's, you know, you're trying to get the best look you can. Uh, they do a good job guarding the dribble, so you can't always get where you want to get with the basketball. And, um, you know, so I, I think it says a lot about his character. He works extremely hard. He's in the gym every night. He does all the extra work. And, you know, guys that do that seem to have success. Um, just fortunate. I mean, his confidence uh, as a freshman in, in games like this. You know, really fortunate to have a player with, with his gifts.
Coach, at the conclusion of the game, you really kept your composure. You know, you had a straight face when you guys were going through the line. But then when you hit the tunnel, you threw your arms up. You were celebrating. Can you kind of talk about what was going through your head in that moment, <coughs> really, when you got overtaken with emotion? Yeah, I think it was just, you know, I was happy for our fan base, uh, happy for our players, uh, happy for all those that have come before us that have, you know, worn the jersey and care about this program, happy for our administration and, and everybody because it's, you don't win games like that if you don't have all hands on deck. And the great part, um, you know, about being a Cyclone is everybody's hands are on deck. And, and you see that in a blizzard when people come out and you see the support. Um, so to me, it was more celebrating everybody else and, and appreciation for everybody else and everything that they do uh, to give us an opportunity to do what we do on a daily basis. So a lot of gratitude. Earlier in the week, you talked about how Houston is great at guarding ball screens. How did you adjust to that, especially early on in the game? Well, we moved the ball quickly early. I think, you know, when we were fresh, we kept the ball on the move. Uh, we kept the floor lifted up and then, and then tried to play underneath. So we were able to get guys on the roll. We were able to tack downhill on the drive. You know, they're especially early, you know, uh, their defensive integrity, they're going to have two guys at the basketball and they're going to be aggressive and they're going to try to you know, to kind of bully you at that point of the screen. And so felt like it was important to try to use that aggressiveness against them, you know, by keeping the ball on the move and um, continuing to just, you know, make simple play after simple play until that attack showed up. And I think that happened early, but more than that, it was the defense. You know, it was the turnovers. It was scoring off our defense, pressure in the ball that, that really helped ignite everything that we did from that point forward. How did you feel about the guys' ability to manufacture points when offense was hard to come by at 60 minutes plus in the first half without a basket, but still was one of the locker rooms of the week? Yeah, I, I think the uh, the one the one point I would have liked to manufacture is when Haas was getting ready to tip dunk his free throw again. So <laughs> we're going to have to work on uh, him having a little more confidence in just his ability to make it. I told him after the game, I said, man, you, you put the time in. Like, that was a great play. Um, he had let me know that the only time he'd ever seen it outside of that was with Russell Westbrook, I guess is what he said. Is that true? Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Can you confirm that you can, on the record? No. Um, no, I think, look, you got to find ways to get to the foul line. You got to find ways to score on offensive rebounds. You got to find ways to score in transition. And as you said, it's, it is manufacture points. They're, you know, they're a good defensive team, and everybody talks about how they jump off the analytics off the page and you know all those sort of things. So uh, we don't want to be fussy about where the points come from. We just want them to keep coming. Um, Coach, what are you going to remember most about this win? Yeah, I mean, I, I think more than anything, it was the the mindset and mentality. Our guys were really prepared for this game, you know, and, and I think that showed at the start. And and to me. The lesson and the takeaway, again, there's there's so many impactful plays that happen throughout the course of the game. But if you start a game as the aggressor and you impose your will on your opponent, and then you have defensive integrity late and believe in each other that you can finish the game on the defensive side, that you can be successful. And those are things that we try to work on every single day. And so that's what I'll remember the most. It's, it's great as a coach when the things that you emphasize and you, you talk about and you demand show up for you on game night. And that was the case here tonight. With Taman, I feel like it's easy to forget that he's only a sophomore. After his game on Saturday, what did you see from him to be able to respond and in a three-day turnaround put up the night he did against a really tough defensive team? Yeah, I mean, I think we could we could stay here for hours and talk about the character that Taman has and who he is as a person and um, his upbringing, his family, and, and so many that have helped him along the way and how fortunate we are to coach him. You know, he's, you know, whatever the top of elite competitor is, uh, it's him, and he and he does it all. And he's a gentleman, and he's a, a great, you know, human being, person. We couldn't be more proud of him. So, uh, I hate to say that you know when he doesn't have his best game, that you know he's going to play well the next game. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of times he doesn't have a good game as we move forward. Thank you.